let's hop into Trisha Paytas. Um, folks, before the show starts, we like to always start the Trisha Paytas experience with what I like to call some great vibes. Uh, in fact, the Mushroom made us a nice live intro song. So we're going to go ahead and play this and we're going to hop into the Trisha segment. Thing going. Um, Trisha has no recent activity on her Instagram. We think, and everybody else thinks, she has had the baby. And I'm going to let this drop real quick. Ooh, look at this. F fan art on the Trisha Paytas Reddit. Disgusting. All right, we gotta cut it. Uh, let's get into this shit. Meet and grits of the show. Trisha has no recent updates on Instagram. She is actually uh, MIA. Could be missing. We don't know. Last uh, time we saw her, or last post we had. Yeah, we could review her music. We've watched it before, but I, I'm not. Sh I'm not totally sure if I get like a nice. Uh, copyright strike. Uh, we have watched multiple music videos, but I have to be careful because it, it is actually some of her stuff, if not all of it, is uh, owned by uh, Universal Music, and they are not nice. They don't like you, you know, using their stuff for no revenue. They want to, you know, claim you, strike you, whatever. You know, sometimes I'll watch something on here. It'll block the entire segment, and I have to fucking take it right out, okay? There's hair, there's fucking cat hair all over me. And I, I took him out of the room. I took Felix out because he's, uh, was eating some pla- I had to get him away. He comes in here, a cat's favorite thing is to eat- fuck with plastic. I got, like, this case of water down here. He's playing with the loose plastic where I was taking the water out, so I don't want him eating that shit. I have to keep my eyes on him, otherwise he jumps and knocks shit over, and then I have to punch. So here's Trisha's damn stomach. This is her, what her Instagram looks like. This, I would assume, is a little bit less if the baby came out. Now, Trisha gained a lot, a lot, a lot more weight this time. She's going to tell us there was some or a miracle, in some, what, what she calls a miracle. She's going to say, well, my stomach was actually full of cotton, so the baby could have you know, the perfect comfort until it sh uh, shit it out. But really, like, Trisha just expanded a lot during this pregnancy. So, you know, we don't know what happened. Maybe the baby fucking, you know, I don't know. Who cares? So let's hop into this. No, nothing on the fucking Instagram. The Reddit is asking a lot of questions. People are saying it's finally happened, I'm certain, which is probably bullshit. I don't buy it. 
You know, there's only a couple comments on here. I went to the Frenemies 3. Frenemies 3 is empty. It's a fucking, what we would call a, a wasteland. Let's see if we go to the newest. What kind of uh, stuff? So the latest post. I mean, this it's a ghost town over here. You know, I would have thought this thing that has two people, two people online. 14K members. Top six rank by size. There's 14K fucking people on this frenemies, you know, subreddit. Only two people online. And uh, they're not posting nothing. Five, their last post five days ago. And it says, anyone else constantly refreshing. So a lot of these fucking dipshits think there's like some type of thing with Trisha Paytas where when, you know, somebody dies, it caused Trisha Paytas to, I don't know, have another kid. Whatever. I, I don't actually know this bullshit lore. I could care less. I'm not into it. It's not a vibe. But the Trisha Paytas one is a little bit more updated. Two hours ago, episode with Ted. First of all, I loved him. He was so witty and cute. And you could definitely tell Trisha felt comfortable with him. Also, Oscar be, uh, being giddy about or around him was so funny. Oscar probably wanted to suck his dick right off him. Recently, Trisha Paytas, uh, or her last podcast, she has this guy come on. Uh, and Wise Man says, can we go late tonight, Nate? Well, this will probably be another hour. This will probably be another hour. You know, I don't know. I, I'm i not sure. I'm running out of steam. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, this is Ted Navision. Ted Navision is a person I know nothing about. She brought him on the, the recent podcast. We can go to his YouTube channel. I actually think I looked at him before. This is old also. Uh, are we going to YouTube? Click. There we go. This is an old, old, old episode. She's had this in the bag for a while because I think in her Instagram stories and on Twitter, she was taking pictures with him, seen taking pictures with him. And uh, he was getting a lot of shit. Uh, if we look at, what am I looking at? Uh, Ted Navision. This channel right here. And this is what he does. This is Alpha OK. This is it. And he's kind of like a... Hassan guy. So I found a really that was really scary. Okay, so that's already not a good time. This dude sucks. And who I believe is the main character. Oh, some dude's kissing her. Wait. Whoa! Listen to that baritone sound coming out of those lips. Before any information about the story happens, it's just immediately a makeout scene for like almost a full minute. I think this is meant to be a hook for the target audience. How the fuck is it that way? This guy's a, like he's got like what we would call. Some type of, uh, you know, sound coming out of his mouth that, you know, you could only utilize with, like, three other guys that are, like, shorter than you. You know, those who aren't there for the riveting plot and lore like myself. And this makes sense. If I was paying $50 of real legal ten. Okay, don't care. You suck. This is... When people show me videos like this, I gotta go. I'm not watching this shit. You know, you gotta sit there, let them tell a fucking story. You hear this. You're to watch a fan... You hear that type of music in the background? I'm not I'm not doing it. It's not fun, okay? Cut the bullshit. I need to see somebody swinging on somebody, the guns. Uh, Infected Mushroom says, In 2010, Trisha appeared in an episode of My Strange Addiction where, yeah, we've seen it. Uh, I think we watched it a while ago where Trisha was a self-admitted tanning addict. There is a lot of different, you know, realms that Trisha Paytas has graced her figure okay she's been on quite a few uh reality shows she was in an episode of tim and eric and trisha paytas if you look at her now she's a perfect cast member for any type of like you know tim and eric skit she just looks terrible and you know trisha does look very infomercial she just looks really fake that's that's the only thing i can explain about trisha paytas and she does look trisha does a lot of times look drag to me isn't a bad thing, but for her, it is. That's not the fucking sound. Shit. So this Ted guy sucks. What do they have to say about him on here? I'm LOLing at Trisha saying the universe and space wouldn't even exist without humans. Oh, Trish. Okay. So they are having a nerd come on. I'm sure it's going to be jam-packed with what we would call a bunch of stupid fucking conversations. I don't know how he's going to keep up with these two. You know, they're legends of, like, the field of, like, you know, fucking straight drool coming out of your mouth. 
that's kind of like the the thought process that you know spins in trisha's head it's a lot of nothing so whatever let's hop into it let's see what this is about this is ted in a vision there's no gooning on this part. What's gooning? I don't know this you don't either. Know what gooning is. I know. You know, and I, this is this has been a phenomenon. Stealing a word, copying a word. Only time I've ever heard anybody saying gooning is like you know when you were a kid you'd hear the goons, the henchmen. You'd hear people use those in like you know old Marvel comics or like a video game or whatever as a kid. And outside of that, you don't really ever hear, hear people saying goon. All of a sudden, it's been a phenomenon to start saying goon. Well, I'd like to say that's been stolen. From Pot Awful. So they got to start paying up. Oh, what is it? Is Justin, it Justin, ladies and gentlemen, Trish Paytas does not know what <laughs> goon is. What just happened? What, what just happened? There's no edging, there's no gooning on this pod. What's gooning? I don't know this you don't either. You know what gooning is. I know. What you don't know what it is? Yes, you do. What is it? It's, it's another episode. Trisha Paytas wants to jack him up. Justin, Justin, ladies and gentlemen, Trisha Paytas does not know what... <laughs> and I can't, I cannot wait to see what Oscar, I'm not Oscar, well, Oscar too. He's actually here for once, which is so great. I love to see Oscar fucking shoved into another corner outside of frame. There's a whole nother fucking picture of, or a whole no. I'm looking at this comment. A whole nother uh, uh, camera on him in the corner where he's sitting in the dark with that stupid fucking Trisha Paytas logo behind him. And then we have, you know, I can't wait to see Moses back here. He's going to be looking stupid today. You know what he's going to be doing? His eyes are going to be looking towards Trisha the whole time because he knows he, Trisha wants this finger. What <laughs> gooning is... Welcome back to Just Trish. We have a very wow. special guest and probably our most sought after for months and mm. months and months. Wow. And we finally made it happen. Well, I've never fucking heard of you. Now, he's got what we would call some bullshit bedhead going on. In fact, Mushroom says uh, Trisha Paytas appeared in several music videos in ver by various artists, including Eminem, Amy Winehouse, and the All-American Rejects. And I think the fucking Eminem one, is she eating a burger? You know, Eminem's in his football outfit or some shit. We've we've looked at that one. Happen the one and only Ted Nip. But you know, for as, as fat and terrible as Trisha is, I, what the fuck is this? Look at this bullshit. I'm not into it. Okay. Illuminati right there. No, I think that's uh, the Star of David. I just noticed it and I'm like, really? Really? Are we wearing, are you just, you know, Trisha Paytas has been known for wearing the Star of David necklace, you know, to culturally appropriate. You know, Trisha Paytas is uh, a lot of things and a lot of nothing. Listen. But I think Tad in a vision, I don't know, is that the Star of David or, or am I freaking out? Is this Jesus, you know, the, Jesus wore that spike crown hello hello everyone <laughs> did we this say is my right? camera uh, you did That's actually you did it's it's over the years i've been surprised but i don't know what this hairstyle is for one thing it, make it makes it look like he has like you know the the, the rear end of a donald duck or quack whatever the fuck i guess donald duck right howard the duck like you know how day a, a back of a duck in a cartoon would have that little flap of a tail that's what it looks like and there's no sh no chance. I, this would fucking I, it would actually keep me up at night, knowing I had like a tuft of hair just spiked up the whole fucking episode, like my fucking head shaped like a fucking egg. As the, I used to think it was like easy to pronounce, and I've learned as I've grown as a content creator that oh, it has seven apparently points. a lot okay. of people have trouble with it or <laughs> just don't know where to go with it. So. It sounds fake. <laughs> Here's what it is. So Oscar put on his best fake teeth today. Yeah. <laughs> Denture's looking pathetic with it or just real cheap. Uh, and it says this must have been Oscar's idea for don't sure. Don't know where to go with it. Look how excited he is. Oscar's a gamer too. He also is into Hunger Games. You know, he's been really trying to fucking get the, that fucking roll of a lifetime. You know, pulling that bow back next to 
Julianne Dreyfus or uh, who's the person? Jennifer Lawrence that's in Hunger Games. It sounds fake. <laughs> well, Oscar's a nerd, so he definitely wants to click glasses if you know what I mean with this guy. Like if you're going, if you're if you're going to go kiss somebody and you have glasses, have you ever been in a situation when your face is on, your both glasses are clicking and clanking whenever you're making out? Oscar's gonna be the first one to take his fucking and pull his toupee off before his shirt when Ted Division comes in for a big succulent suck. I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen, but Oscar, <laughs> he's in a land of ecstasy right now, happier than hell, fakest laugh I've ever seen in my life. I'm not into it. No fucking shot. <laughs> yeah, no, I've gotten that too. People think that it's like a play on the word television. Yes. So. Which you hate. I saw that in a podcast. Someone said that, and you're like, absolutely not. It's not that at all. Yeah, no. I was oh, like, it's my no. hey. <laughs> look, look at these moccasins he has on right now. Have you guys ever seen this in your life besides, like, you know, in a fucking mystery book or some type of, like, you know, Geppetto, Pinocchio shoes? This is crap. This is just as bad as the Jordans that were made by Daniel Day-Lewis. Daniel Day-Lewis stepped out of film to train with the greatest cobbler ever. Shoe cobbler. Found him. Stalked him. My hair is like super like when I take it off, I look like Frankenstein. My forehead. It's not a bald spot. That is... hair. Uh, he has extra padding on his knees, for sure. Probably got a couple pads. He probably just put fucking straight up football, soccer, or what do I say? Football shoulder pads on his knees. Wrapped them around. But uh, he, he's wearing these trash shoes. Very shit shoes today. As you can see, we zoomed in on them. They're very old schooly, and they, all, they almost have like a fake vintage dust on them. Or that's just straight up fucking dust. Or you know, just shit that builds up on there from being so damn old. And uh, it reminds me of Daniel Day-Lewis. Daniel Day-Lewis wears the same type of shit. Uh, more established people out here in the world of, uh, I don't know, being a fucking nerd and li liking to read and, like, you know, being into the most boring shit ever. Math. They always look like this. They always, like, Einstein never decided to come up with the Nike shock. He decided to help us, you know, progress in blowing each other up. Science should have went straight to shoes first. But he's wearing some real crap right now. I hate his fucking shoes. And it's the same thing as uh, Daniel Day-Lewis be walking around with these fucking clod hoppers. You gotta be kidding me. Is there an image of him? This is a Dan Daniel Day-Lewis... Lewis. Daniel Day Lewis made shoes for a little while until he went back into Hollywood and he made these, you know, Jordans. He made these, you know, clods right here. Now, you know, I'm not into this shit. And then this is what he's walking around in all day with his piglets burning. Really? You're going to wear this shit? No comfort at all either. You get that shit wet, you're going to get gang green. Grow up! There he is right here, looking like a fucking serial killer. Neck tattoo. Gosh, darn it. So, no, that's actually, he's dripping right now. Look, he's got some drip on. Damn, boy. Look at this. And here we go. Garbage shoes. All right, moving on. It's my... <laughs> God-given name. I love it. I looked it up. and you, I'm like, but you could have gone by, like, Ted Kennedy, which would have been cool because you sound like a Kennedy. So that's crazy because my... That's your name, right? Well, my middle name is yeah. Kennedy. Right. So Theodore... Oh, okay. No, I that's thought, how I knew. I, I was thought... like... Oh, the leg. Trisha, keep your hands. That's how... Spreader. Super spreader. This is amazing. That's why this motherfucker's, like, locked his shit up. He's actually hemmed up right now, keeping this shit locked up. You know, he's never, he's never been around, you know, I don't think this guy goes around a lot of girls, so he probably already wet his pants or he's fully fucking rocked up, bricked up, as they would say. He's hiding his crap. <laughs> <laughs> Trisha touched him, though. 
You don't see that with Trish. Trish don't do that unless she wants to fucking, you know, suck his dick right off. You know, we've seen it before with the camera, man. My middle name is yeah. Kennedy. Right. So Theodore. Oh, okay. No, that's I thought, how I knew. I, I was thought, like, you put your name, God right? Well, my middle name is yeah. Kennedy. Right. So Theodore. Oh, okay. No, that's I thought, how I knew. Good shit, man. Trisha's touch is a, is a lot like, you know, when you rub your fucking elbow across poison ivy. It's going to affect you later. No, I, I was thought, like, you could have touched I, the thought, guy. I thought you were saying that and you were like, and you were like it's like the, the guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I looked up your name for the gate and I was like, wait, his last name is Nificent, but then I saw Kennedy in there and I was like, oh, you could have sound like a Kennedy, like Theodore Kennedy. Yeah, it's a real presidential uh, <laughs> full name going on there, except for the Nificent part. That, that's the one that, that confuses me. Well, okay, so finally he spoke up. Oscar's been sitting back here like he's like the first, you know, first day in school. He's looking like the new kid. <laughs> he's the new kid yeah, today. Yeah, throws that. Uh, Bigfoot says, my God, Trish and Oscar look amazing sitting on the opposite sides. Yeah, they look really cool. They both look really cool. Look at fucking this guy right here, man. Looking pathetic. You know, you would have thought Oscar would have put a little bit more juice in his face. You know, for the big day. This is his big shot. Big day to show off everything he can offer. You know, the man of his dreams. I think he does want this guy's number. I'm sure Ted Navision isn't stupid. You know, he's walking around in intelligent, intelligent shoes. Those are smart people shoes because they're so fucking stupid. But it's also people that like, you know, when you wear shit like that, you're not into fashion. You're like, they, you know, they're too, they're smart. Okay. They don't waste their money on Nikes or Jordans, Balenciaga shoes, whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. He wants Oscar doesn't have enough juice in his face to show off to this guy today. Like he does have a little bit of Botox. He's got the cheeks puffed up, the stronger chin, as you can see. Very, very uh, manly type of like structure he's attempting right here. Like Jay Leno has like this type of swollen uh, for TV face. We've seen it with, uh, you know, the whatever his name is from High School Musical that was recently in a wrestling movie. I'd like to say that's his career's over at this point. Zac Efron, he's finished. The whole thing. What? He looks like a monster. What is it? it? What is it? Like yeah. the last name? Yeah. Um, it's Scottish? And JT says, Daddy Ted is all flannel and shit. And I hate a flannel. Nothing cheaper than a flannel. Now, he could be wearing, like, some type of, like, MCM or, uh, I don't know, Alexander McQueen crap. I doubt it, though. I doubt it. I think. Okay, you don't yeah. know. No 23 and me. Well, it, it's Scottish. It means saintly bone. Saintly bone. Saintly bone. Which, which is... these days now could be perceived in a different way, but, I don't know, you could be like... <laughs> like what? I'm what? About, Big I'm bone? About, I'm about to have a saintly bone. Wait, What? <laughs> <laughs> I just I missed dude they're already going to the sex so he's right now taking uh, a big risk and trying to you know kind of like introduce the topic or let her know he is ready to play play around you know we're two minutes in he's already talking about his big bone have a saintly bone wait what <laughs> <laughs> is that a thing? And look at her, bro. Uh, hey, Moses, guess what? Trisha, lean. I'm talking lean back. Like whenever you're on your Tinder date and you know you're about to fuck or like, you know, somebody's really into you, that she's giving him sex eyes right now, right? Bigfoot says Trisha's going to get mad and wipe it off. I don't know what we're wiping off. Uh, the snot. Anywho, look at the way Trisha leans back. She's into this guy. She wants this guy's. Bone. A saintly bone. Wait, what? <laughs> That's, is that a thing? Oh, like, yeah. No, no, no. What is happening? My mouse is freaking out. <laughs> I couldn't get it off slow motion. Stop! Well, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, getting cool. the bone zone. Oh my God. The saintly way. bone zone. <laughs> we have such straight man energy right now. I, it's crazy. We Trisha's lean back, showing off her chest. A lot of birds puff up so they can go f have fucking fuck with another bird, right? Don't a lot of people do that? They, they, you know, you get yourself dolled up. You let everybody see the best parts of you whenever you're out there, you know, on the prowl, trying to have people look at you. 
we could break apart every element of Trisha's outfit today. Is she cosplaying or does she go buy a dress that smells like lavender and maybe Ted's favorite scent? He looks like a lavender guy. He just drips it into the fucking toilet. But right now, I mean, like, he's got his shit ready to go. There's probably, he probably poked a fucking hole in here. He seems like somebody, like, you know, pisses with his underwear still on. All right, not a good look. We never really had, like, a straight, straight man here. It's so weird. Yeah, no. Nah, I don't know what that means. That's, this guy's not a straight, straight man. You gotta be fucking kidding bizarre. me. Cody, anybody in the chat, let me know if your radar is going off with old Ted. No, it. Look, he's crossing his leg. We've never really had like a straight, straight man here. It's so weird. Yeah, no, it's I'm... bizarre. And and he's actually fucking already told the truth right there, just with his own response. He didn't really even fucking say much. He's like, Ew. that's crazy. We've never really had like a straight, straight man here. It's so weird. Yeah, no, it's I'm... bizarre. No, it, it, you know. Where's Oscar? Oh, that's him still. Look at his stupid fucking head. What is this hairstyle? This is bullshit. Oh, it's one of those things where you know there have been moments where I've been like, where could I? And I'm like. Can he what? He's actually questioning, can he ha be gay? Have you tried? <laughs> Have I tried? No, I haven't. No. Well, you never know until I've you try. I've been flirted with before, but yeah, yeah no, it's it's just, you know. I feel like straight guys like you, but girlies also like you, gays obviously like you. Mm -hmm. um, you really just appeal to the masses. Did he just call them gays? But girlies also like you, gays obviously like you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Oscar? Real nice. Letting him know. Look at this fucking set of lips. What are those, man? Some people get their jonks. They get them enlarged. Some people, you know, you know, equip themselves with implants all over the foot, whatever part of the body they want an implant in. Or we go get our lips filled. Oscar, man, I've, I've never been one to say, hey, you probably need them. Okay? Like, there's not really many medical problems we out here that that need lip injections, right? I don't know. But I think Oscar is our one of our rare cases where he has these paper thin lips. Paper thin. This boy needs some filler. Came on this show trying to look cool with his best target button up. That's a target button up. Um you really just appeal to This is bullshit. The masses. Which is all right, and he rashed up. He, you know, really, really was rough with the shave today. You don't want me come to dinner? No, nobody does. Scra rashed from the... He's got fucking... He went and shaved this morning fucking ripped his shit open. And this is not... How are you supposed to be, like, sh you know, doing a podcast when you'd be wearing this flat... Paper bullshit. I'm, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm, <laughs> Disgusting. I'm, I'm for the I'm for the gays and the girlies. <laughs> and days. Uh, Cody says he Ted is giving me all the sugar. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he's really pale too. Like he's got the virus or something. What the fuck? I'm pretty white. Now you can see. Actually, you can't see. I have a hundred million lights on me right now, folks. I have a hundred million lights on me right now. But if I take this away. Lean back, you know, some of the lights dim. I'm, you know, I go to the tanning bed a lot. But naturally, I'm a disgustingly white, translucent Polak, okay? I got Polish, German, Irish, Chinese. I know I don't have any Chinese. I don't know if I have any Chinese in me, right? Oh, wow, that's not a good look. We got to fix this. It doesn't look any better. I need to have, like, the Superman curl. Is that it? Do I have it? Okay, whatever. But I'm very white naturally. Ted looks exceptionally pale. He looks like he's just seen a ghost. Real disgusting. <laughs> well, I think it's your height. I think when you're so humongous, like we were just like taking pictures with you, we're just like laughing because we're like, oh my god, this is so crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's weird too because it's like you know you go through your whole life just being like. I'm my size. This is normal. And then, like, I'll see a photo next of me next to someone, and I'm like, I'm a. Do you know what's funny? He's like, if if Oscar is actually, you know, in front of them, we have looked into this. Okay, we've actually seen a couple uh, pieces of evidence that say elsewise. Oscar is his chair is actually what we've seen from evidence is he's behind all of them. There's a camera. There's not a lot. What I think is there's not a lot of fucking room 
inside this little uh, movie theater room that Trisha has that she's uh, kind of like for you know created her podcast set in. This is where it's at. It's a little movie theater room. Not a big space. Not a big space. There wasn't even. I don't think there was movie theater chairs in here. I think there was what we call folding chairs. So, what we saw in a couple uh, TikTok videos when she kind of perused around here, there is a area behind this. So this is this is him. He's on the left side of him, right? Okay, right. And then Trish is on the right over this direction. Oscar's actually behind them. Fucking humongous. <laughs> All right, and and just I think looking off a monitor, but if he's not, it's it's actually cool. Trisha put him right in front of this guy that wants to jack him. This off. feels I feel with age. I mean, you're not like old, but I feel like with age, you just fill out more. In general, oh yeah, and, then jaw. It, and you know, I eat all eat all the weight even out when I got so tall so fast. So I'm so just lucky. Like a, yeah, you can eat whatever. I used to. I used to. Now I actually have to think about it as a. Uh, infected mushroom says Nate should do the Puerto Rican girl baby hair glued to her forehead look. That'd be nice. That would be very nice. Uh, Oscar has all the poppers ready to go. Now, what is what is a popper? Do you, sh I mean, I've always heard it's a, it, it, I guess, loosens the rupus. Of like maybe. No, Oscar, uh, uh, well, Oscar, Ted seems like somebody that's good to twenty twenty one, which sucks. Because uh, I love. That's probably why he's so pale. He fucking ate a bunch of fucking, uh, what do they call it? Uh, Laxatives the past couple of days to clear himself up for us. Dude, I fucking love food. Well, this is why uh, I got excited. So we should talk about how you got here first because I got excited because I did a deep dive in you in this past week because Oscar talks about you all the time. Frequently, yeah. Frequently. Yeah, 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 frequently yeah. to everybody. <laughs> we had a guest yesterday and he brings you. I was like, okay. We love. Really? Yeah. You know, wait, so how often yeah. do I come up with how long every, have you been? Every you're deep in the lore. Yeah. When really? We, yeah. When you first started doing guests, Trisha asked what my who my dream guest mm -hmm. was, and I was like, Ted. Right. Um, Wow. Okay. I really love whenever a, uh, somebody that meets their idol has to actually, you know, be in front of them and you get to see, you get to see how the creator treats the fan. He doesn't give a fuck. And I've seen that clip. He's not into Oscar, man. He actually fucking is pissed Oscar. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you, you saw it, so you know. Well, so the way that I initially... So I'm really hoping he trashes They him. found out about this was, um, <laughs> it was like... Uh, I had gotten a message in a group chat from my college acapella group. Love uh, that. I found clips of that. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, got ask, I have so many questions about that, but yeah, um, we'll go to that. <laughs> and basically, uh, they were they sent me that clip, and they were like, uh, it was my friend uh, Jamila who, who, sent, Jamila. who sent that, and it was like, Ted, you need to do this. And I was shout like, out Jamila. Jamila. <laughs> yes. yeah, oh, my yeah, gosh. Shout out Jamila. I, I, I actually I texted the, the group before I drove over here, and I was like, I was like Jamila, do you want me to get a video of uh, Trisha saying hi? Oh, my God. You? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, she's probably watching it right now. So. I don't know what this isn't live, you fucking idiot. Okay. It's not live. This came out fucking a month later. So, what, up, what up, Jam? <laughs> we'll sing a little acapella. Can we sing acapella later? On? No, 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 no. Okay, I mean, I'm sure she's going to blow that type of sound out of her, for her. We'll do a little, like, tribute to <laughs> your acapella. French fry. Uh, we uh, can we're try. Singing. I don't know how well that's going to work out. <laughs> I ask every guest to um, sing, and I'm like, 10 of all people will do it. Yeah, and then I was like, I was like, oh, yeah, you know, maybe, maybe. I was just... just that's what I'm saying. In fact, the mushroom says, college acapella. Uh, that's uh, that's all sugar. Yeah, I mean, if if the if this guy's doing like acapella singing in college, I mean, come on, man, it's time to be honest with yourself. This isn't pitch perfect where you can it's be. One of those things, you know, the Adam Lambert or whatever. I was fuck like, his busy at the time. I was like, I wasn't, I wasn't sure. Um, <laughs> and uh, then later on, another friend of mine uh, who's a Twitch streamer, Peach Jars, they also messaged me, and they yeah. were like, and they were like, Ted. Uh, JT's okay. So JT's talking about him up here. Let me go to these comments. Uh, filler. Uh, Trisha's lips. Yada 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 yada. I have viewed their videos over the year of him with the same girlfriend. Just saying, it's a spectrum, and very over time. My BFF in high school, her brother was a god, and he did a college acapella. Trisha talks about you on. I don't know about it, man. I don't know about it. I don't know. I, it's There's one thing in this world that... Like every... <laughs> I think I've had enough of, okay? It's groups of voices singing. Okay. Look at Trish. Oh! 
know she's getting wet. All right. Oh <laughs> and, and, I, and I was like, what is happening right now? Because <laughs> like, it just wasn't like a like because I've been a, I've been aware of you, you know, for all these all these years and stuff. But I was I was like, Trisha, uh, fucking JT's laying me out, hit me with three punches. I, it was just a weird like kind of. <laughs> like mixing of worlds you know doesn't make sense at all yeah. like even seeing you stay here i'm just like this is so bizarre we're yeah. so different it's not it's on not internet, just like different worlds oh yeah it's just not bizarre no, from the same side for me where it's like yeah. I've, I've seen you online but then it's 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 always weird when you make that connection and you see the person and like that's like me walking in like into fucking jack nicholson that's bizarre imagine like being fucking famous and being with another famous fucking person and be like oh this is a bizarre reality everything's shaking yeah right yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that's how i felt seeing you walk in today because i was like i'm really newly familiar because of oscar and so i was uh she says the baby is still inside lame no I, I we think she had the baby i think she had the baby uh, this is real old uh, episode of her podcast that I think she's been holding on to. Like, but we're kind of getting into your world. Trisha kind of like collects numerous amounts of podcasts and I think is actually doing nothing on weeks well, end. Well, now we have Pokimane coming on Sunday, so I feel oh, like really? we're like tapping into this. Yeah. Now we've already seen Pokimane, right? We've already seen that episode, I think. Real fucking nightmare. But this has actually been in her vault for like a couple weeks. Oh, cool, like gamer yeah, no, world. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's, she's so <laughs> we're excited about it. But Oscar, yeah. So your friend, though, your mutual friend. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised. JT says, Queen Alien clued me in on the issue. You're an Aries and I'm an Aquarius. My dad is an Aries. I, what does that mean? Now I'm like really. What does it mean? Because David Alvarez, I know that he knows you. So I DM'd him and I was like, David what can you do? Like, I'll literally promote you every episode of Hot Topics. I never told you that. But yeah. I was like, I'll bring you up all the time if you just tell Ted to come I on. To, I don't know if I spoke to Dave. Then what? What was the point? You look like you're not really fucking utilizing your guy in front of you. This dude was so excited for him to come on. And he's not even, like, really going over there and, like, fucking jumping. But I was like, I'll bring you Or, like, every second being like, oh, man, remember that video? I don't know. What do you do whenever you're you around know, somebody I you know. like? I, 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 there's a last thing I ever want to do. I maybe mean, just is meet somebody I like. Tell Ted to come to, on. I don't know if I spoke to David at all. Well, oh. I've been shouting him out thinking that he was the reason. The reason to make yes. the connection. Well, yeah. we still love him. Shout, <laughs> Shout out, out, David. Uh, Anna says, I'm pretty sure she filmed one with Dr. Drew. Jesus. Oh, right. well, I, no, I love David Alvarez. I mean, as long as it's like Dr. Drew, I'd rather see him than fucking, uh, you know, who? Uh Dr. Phil. First, but yeah, no, I don't I don't know if we oh. ever spoke. Maybe maybe we Cuz Dr. Drew that episode, holy shit. I talk about hearts in her eyes. Did, and then I was like And Dr. Drew looking disgusting with his you know, I've never seen him look so fucking ancient. Dis like, oh, he's like, like everything about him was just so loose and tight at the same time. You all saw all his rinks, his liver spots. Oh. Ted I Dr. Drew is, is on his last leg. Yeah, I'm so close with Ted. That's my birthday twin. We did, and then I was like... Oh, he's like, know. Ted, yeah, I'm so close with Ted. That's my birthday twin. We, well, oh. that's true. We do have the same birthday. <laughs> he's January 6th. Right, okay, you got to get out of here, dude. I hope you write like a small snub nose and you have it in your fucking hey. boot. Yeah. He was really like making a scene. He was selling it. <laughs> He sold me a dream. Well, but, we got well, him out here anyways. He's been busy, though. I mean, he's been doing all those shows... Think he does the the His jubilee jubilee stuff, yeah. Uh, ask kind of stuff, mm -hmm. and it's doing well. But you know, he seems like he's he's a busy boy, so maybe yeah. he didn't have time to reach out. Wait, so how did it work then? So your friend said you have to do this, but did you see Oscar's DMs? Because he's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> he just randomly you. DM'd him. I'm like, how did this even happen? How well, does this work? Sometimes I look at yeah, okay, you guys are really excited. This guy literally fucking sucks. You're like asking like you're almost talking like you know fucking some type of extraterrestrial just fucking showed up for the show and is sitting next to you at the top request things because like i mean they're like oh you want to know how like what what kind of topic is like literally going on about the fucking miracle it was snagging this guy i always get afraid that like somebody's reached out and he's explaining it like you know come on man come about on something and then like it's been like several weeks and then i've missed it so like sometimes i'll get a pang of anxiety and i'll be like <laughs> look at that request and i saw that there and i was like ah what the hell is orange? It is orange for me. We're talking about orange stuff. Orange. Oh, there there's it is. a top request? Wow. Wow, that's cool. Oh, wow. Well, that's yeah, you're like verified, aren't you? Like, I am, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Congrats. Yeah. That's everything. Wow, you didn't know. Ooh, she just fucking big timed Oscar. Trisha did not know that Oscar has made it to blue check mark. T 
tier on uh, Instagram. No, like, I you didn't guys know. didn't sell. And then she just like looked at him. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Got a blue check mark. Look at the fucking disgust in Trisha's face. She ain't buying it. This is massive bullshit to her, dude. This is actually fucking what we would call something that will get Oscar in trouble later down the road for, you know, speaking up when not told Damn, to. Damn, yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I, I feel like there's, like, some type of, like, movement Trisha does with her finger when they're having these shows that lets him know she taps on the... T and it's pretty much just an indication he can talk now. She ain't doing that. Trisha's pissy. Oh, congrats. <laughs> That's a well, she's actually big time in him right now. She probably should have helped him get that blue check mark. I would only hope that it's a real... Wow, you didn't know. You no, didn't know. I not paid. You guys no. didn't celebrate when you got verified on Instagram? <laughs> no, that? it happened kind of randomly, actually. Recently or a no, while last ago? last year. Okay. Yeah, but mm. I don't really post that much on Instagram, so wow. I didn't really care that much, but I'm glad it at least... And, like, the thing is, they both kind of look the fucking same. They are, like, the same type of guys. They don't look physically the same, but they are the same fucking guy. Got me you, so that <laughs> helps, yeah. Wait, how yeah. did it happen? Were you, was he DMing you, like, a bunch, like, in a row? Or, like, I'm so curious. Like, you're just like, he said, just come on hundreds, my podcast? Hundreds of <laughs> really? messages. Yes, yeah, no, he was like, please, please, Actually? for the love now. I'll be real. Oh. No, it was, it was one, and it was, there's no edging, there's no gooning on this side. What's gooning? Um, or during? No, nothing Christ. necessarily. Well, well uh, because it's a. Where was I at? I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <You know? laughs> just they're gone, so yeah, there's nothing. Because like, it was like it was just a part of the podcast. They were like giving me shit about it all the time, and I was like, we were out for drinks, and I was. Get a little. I'm only nine minutes in. You know what's funny? We usually hate straight men. Like, there's I'm fucking. Where am I at in the show? I'll be like, <laughs> look at the top request, and I saw that there, and I was like, ah. Oh, there he's it in is. a tap request? Wow. Wow, that's cool. Oh, wow. Well, Shiny. yeah, you're like verified, aren't you? Yeah. All right, I got to get some water. I am, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Congrats. Yeah. That's everything. Wow, you didn't know. You no, didn't know. I didn't know. You guys know. didn't celebrate when you got verified on Instagram? <laughs> no, I Welcome to uh, uh, Emily Br Brillhart. You're reaching with this one. How am I reaching? This is fucking facts. Kind of randomly, actually. Uh, she says Emily Bullhart, Brillhart. Fucking beautiful last name. Your whole channel is about her. And what do you mean? Wh why are you stating the obvious? Isn't here a while no, ago. Here. Okay. Yeah, but I don't really post that much on Instagram, so wow. I didn't really care that much. But I'm glad it at least. Got me you, so that helps, yeah. Wait, how did it happen? Were you what did it even do? It didn't even help at all. I have my DPI set so fucking intense right now. I gotta slow this puppy down. Was he DMing you like a bunch, like in a row? Or like, I'm so curious. Like, you're just like, he said, just come on Hundreds. my podcast. Oh, this is awesome. So Trisha's, <laughs> Trisha's trying to get some drama stirred up. How many times, and we got to see proof. Trisha, ask for the fucking phone, even though you probably will steal it with those crim fingers of yours. Uh, I mean, you like a bunch, but like we got to see the inbox. I want to actually see how many times Oscar Gracie hit up Ned in a row, or like or Ted, or whatever the fuck his name. I'm is. I'm so curious. Like you're just like he said, just come on Hundred. my podcast. Uh, Emily, em you think I have lip? I have lip. Yes. Do you have lip filler and a fake tan? Yes. Hundreds of really? messages. Yes. Yeah. No. He was like, "Please, please, Actually? for the love." No. Oh. No. It was. It was one, and it was like. And this part right here, I can't. You ever look at somebody's face, like maybe like a Walter White type of syndrome? Remember how Walter White? He wore that shirt and breaking that, or not wore it. He was actually in the office whenever he was told he had his cancer, and all he could focus on was the mustard stain. All I can focus on with Ted is this fucking disgusting mark right here. What is this bullshit? Oh my fuck, dude. And I thought it was some hair. I just think it's like a straight up wart. It was like something like, Ted, we gotta get you. And he's got this thin, you know, now I don't really have much of a mustache, but no shot am I gonna like have a, a upper lip like this with all this, all, you know, I can barely tell with the quality of this camera. It's real bad in these teeth. Chucky's teeth but these bumps this barely little prickly hairy area fucking filthy okay clean it up <laughs> clean it up it was pretty short and sweet it was yeah because I also just where's Emily at now I don't even see her 
Uh, we we watch midgets and hillbit. Yeah, didn't think you would see it, so I'm like, I'm just gonna have fun and like be silly. This was like after Trisha got a DM from the weekend, and after that, I was like, I'm gonna. Uh, Sarah says, did Trisha leave Oscar out of the Pokemon episode? I'm really trying to fucking remember the Pokemon episode. I'm pretty sure we watched it. I know she had an episode when she had a fucking phone that she stole from Pokemon. Allegedly, All my dreams and like anything. <laughs> But I mean, Oscar's caught, he's never allowed whenever there's a guest. You know, Trisha Paytas is one of these people, sees everybody's snarky comments, you know, what we would like to call the truth. And uh, every once in a while, she cracks. I think the other day she slipped up and said that, uh, or kind of re revealed that Moses is her personal assistant, right? But, uh,. Usually Oscar's not allowed on the show, but there's been a few whenever he's allowed to be here. This one, he's only allowed to be here because this is somebody that he really wanted to come. The man of his dream, Ted Navision. Got a DM from the weekend? Fuck yeah! yeah. So I was like, well, let's manifest. Emily says, it hasn't been posted yet. It has. Listen, it has. Uh, Emily said, and Pokey sent it to her, LOL confirmed. All those things Emily's saying is f fucking lies. Some fucking real Chris Carter X Files bullshit, scripted crap. That's our dream guest. So I said the weekend, and then and allegedly, you know, from what I heard, Trisha Paytas scratched during during the episode. He DM'd me in the next like couple days, and I was like, "Wow, that worked so quickly." Did you have him on? No, he doesn't do podcasts, but, but you we're getting know. there. Yeah. We'll start so with why you, did he do that? He just like thank you for the support, like, and it was him because then his team was like, "Do you want to promote Fortnite for the weekend?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure." And they sent me clothes from his like music video shoot and stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't know. It like gave us hope, and so then he was like, <laughs> "I don't even know who the fuck she's talking about." I just want to know that person's number so I can be like, "How big were the clothes?" Dream guest was you, so I didn't know. I didn't know how it worked. I was like, "How did this happen?" But then you didn't see the DM until like six months later or something. Was it six no, months? It was, oh no, what? it was kind yes. of recent. <laughs> this boy got fucking left on unread. Well, maybe I unsent it because I did see in our DMs <laughs> that it was like there was only. Emily says I've watched every episode, see every single episode. Yeah, right. There's no back. This isn't like one of those fucking shitty DVDs that had what we would call the extras on the back. One, but I had DM'd you before. Uh, Bigfoot says, remember when Trisha Paytas fell because the chair leg broke? I did it. I would randomly reply to your stories though and be like, come on, just Trish. I do that with Hassan now too. I'm like, uh, now Ted has given me the confidence to just like oh, yeah. keep it He's moving. He's our straight guy. Yeah. You shouldn't have that, okay? If you had the confidence, you wouldn't be fucking putting all that filler in your fucking lips. I, I must have, I think a ghost just showed up on my security camera. What is that sound? It sounds like somebody's getting shot. Ambassador, any straight men? I'm just like, oh, I don't know. I get a little weirded out but by you him. Know what's funny? We usually hate straight men. Like, there's not many that we talk nicely no. about. So you're one of the. But one why? Of why? Te well, I know why I like you now. As soon as I started, when I saw you do musical theater in like high school, I was like, absolutely, <laughs> you can come on. I he did. doesn't even like musical theater. And I'm like, how do you. I, thought, I highly doubt it. We've seen Oscar's channel with that bow. I don't know if you guys remember him, him cosplaying as uh, uh, some type of monster from the movie. Hungry you're not like games. musical theater, you're gay, but it's and like... Also, sh what? Absolutely, you can come on. I he did. doesn't even like musical... Trisha has what we call a problem. Now, there's been a few times. Now, you know how it would have to be a jumbo-sized rig to fit in her arm if Trisha's still dosing up. dosy doing allegedly. She's hiding a track. This guy, this is, what's this about, man? I don't know if it's just the fat milled it. Like, a lot of people, when they're heavier than a goddamn truck... They have, like, these spots that have, like, a lot of, you know, crust because of the folds. And they don't really scrub them good. This is an area I could see when Trisha's always got her arm like this, holding up a fucking box of donuts or something. Jesus, my mouse is fucking up. Trisha's always kind of in this position, holding up some food, take out the whole nine. And a lot of her self tan or probably from the sweat and, you know, how the, the body heat that Trisha, em, you know, emits off her body has to be unreal. Okay. You could probably cook an egg on Trisha's, you know, stomach alone. 
My mouse is acting weird. What the fuck? Anyways, all that self tanner could be dripping down here. And this just is like a spot that she's not scrubbing. A lot of that buildup. Or it's a track mark, a hidden one. Go theater. I don't know. Spread the word. How do you not like musical theater? You're gay, but it's like, you know what I mean? And I was like, wait, okay, this straight guy who we like usually hate straight men is like loves musical theater. So the first video of yours I saw was the rainforest cafe. Yeah, Moses does need to scrub. Trisha got a fucking miss, miss, what is it called? The Mr. Scrubby, the Trisha Paytas edition, which is really big. So big that needs two hands. He's not scrubbing her right. We've seen Trisha go out and do yoga in the yard. I think she does the same thing for bath time. Okay. Moses has got that wash, that washer. And the only spot Trisha wants it, you know, water sprayed on is, you know, exactly what you think. The zone. One, it's a classic. And then it really is like synonymous with like your brand now, I think. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. it kind of just went from there. Mm -hmm. And you have like a baby girl vibe to you, I think. Baby girl vibe. Yeah. Okay. Very Jacob Dude, this motherfucker. Oscar really wrote some lines for today. Party. Yeah. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. Jacob Alordi. You're going to have to yeah. uh, explain more what this means. <laughs> baby yeah, girl? Uh, hey, we know how to do that. You got to go over there and say it into his mouth. <laughs> you're baby girl coded for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay. That's why this, you're here. This sounds like a great compliment, but I still have no idea what that means. <laughs> you you don't have them today, but you, I, love, I know you love bracelets and necklaces. Well, this Dude, I like it. Ted is not playing games today. He's really trying to be what we would call a good guest. Giving people attention. A lot of her guests are like just too excited about talking about themselves. But I still have no idea what that means. <laughs> so right now, he actually wants to know, be clued in, whatever Oscar's fucking riddle he told you're gonna me. You're going to have to... I don't even know what the fuck he said. Yeah. Uh, explain more what this means. <laughs> baby girl? <laughs> you're baby girl coded for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay. You don't even know, okay, Trish? Shut the fuck up. How much room are you going to take up this fucking chair, dude? This is unreal. This thing's about to shoot off from the pressure that... You know, what is this? Like some type of a fake fucking disco ball? Probably five bucks. That's why this, you're here. This sounds like a great compliment, but I still have no <laughs> idea what that means. You love, you don't have them today, but you love, I know you love bracelets and necklaces. Well, this is a new development. This is a new development going yeah. on here as of like January where I decided to just like revamp my whole closet. Like I, I, I to be honest, I was probably more more straight coded like pre 2024 because I was I still had a closet full of like shirts that I had been wearing since I was in high school oh, like no. and so <laughs> I don't know I recently just started no. uh, I call it my fashion era yeah is, is what it is the this isn't fashion you're wearing fucking bullshit you're wearing uh what's his name home improvements neighbor the, you know, uh, Tim Allen, the tool time guy. Tim Taylor has a neighbor that fucking be looking over that fence like a fucking crook. The This is the type of shit he wears. My co-hosts on my podcast don't seem to agree with it Bullshit. as much. They usually give me shit for it. But I feel good. You look good. And, like, we love the co-hosts of your podcast, but also, like, they're not, like, fashionistas. <laughs> you know what I mean? They wear a t-shirt all the time, you know? You're having flannel today. You're giving loafer. You're Oh, wait, hold on, loafer. Look at Trisha thinking about bread. Not a good look, okay? Um, Let's check out Ted and the Vision's uh, podcast. We got to see what this bullshit's about. As if... This thing's not spinning back here. My computer's acting up, acting a fool. Oh. Ted and the Vision. I need, uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's on his channel. Yeah. It's right there. Is this the guy right here? Is this a fucking podcast? Now playing. What is this crap? Fan fiction out. Oh, I already had this playing. Whatever. I mean, I'm assuming he has a podcast. Um, nope. Where's it at? Chuckle Sand. Oh, my fucking God. Here we go. The set. Check it out, man. Does he have comedians come on? Oh, he's got this disgusting fucking d filth. This is his co-host. They also have the, you know, the guy that's manning the discs, what you call the engineer on camera too. So let's hop into this. So what's the deal, Tucker, okay? I oh go to Australia for like two weeks. I come back. Yeah. Schlatt's not here. And he's been celebrating himself as this paragon of being. Oh, look at this. 
bullshit right here. That ain't no fucking uh, monogamy gold. I, you know, I don't even. I couldn't even say if that's a. Yeah, it's definitely. Well, maybe it could be a uh, platinum. I doubt it. I don't think Ted spends a lot of money. As you can see, he's got this disgusting mic arm. Fucking bullshit. On time. Sarah says I've never seen him before. Neither have I. I don't even know the fuck this chud is. These Hitler glasses, I'm telling you, man. Oscar, Ted, everybody else in Hollywood, when they have these rounds on, when they're clear, see-through, and like just a certain look, they look very third right. I'm always on time, always on target. That's a legend. Always reliable. That's a good. Always investing. Always buying, buying low, selling and high. And always Whoa. handsome, baby. Always. So this is their host. This is the show. This is what Oscar's fucking into. Zoom. Zoom podcast. I got the loafers. I got the accessories. Yeah. Accessories, honestly, the accessory scenario kind of changed everything. I was like, oh, that's what was needed, you know? It levels up for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you gave your co-host a bracelet, and I was like, that's what he needs. You know, like, you just need that extra something, yeah, that extra judge. Yeah, Tucker, yeah. Yeah. Because no, I, was, I was, we were on a trip. Oscar Cool says, like, I was like, who does this remind me of? I know, they're very, they, 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 they're together, they're, like, recently. They're the same people. And he was, because he had been part of the, the, part of the podcast they were like giving me shit about all and sarah says i know who the, the who the co-host is it's jay schlatt all the time and i was like we were out for drinks and i was like try this on and i put it on for a second and he was like well because his, his wedding ring is is also gold so it was a gold bracelet so he was like oh oh and then i was like and i was like okay all right we're not doing this all right let's skip a little bit we got to get away from this conversation it was it was a scientific experiment going every margaritaville you know that was a <laughs> That was, yeah, no, that was a study. <laughs> oh, look at Ted's sores on his fucking face. Mm. That's probably from bed bugs, right? Don't they come in three? One, two, three. A bite of three means be bed bugs are for me. I mean, that is silly goofy. It is funny the contrast you have between we silly goofy. We got a grant from Harvard to doing that, too. Wait, actually? No. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's like, wow. wow. that's Because it was kind of like everything. When I watched this, I was like, I wish I could have like thought of this. Or your Fiverr videos. I was like, this is kind of like you went groundbreaking. Deep. Yeah, of course. The Fiverr videos, wow. That, yeah. was, that was back when I didn't have really um, a notion of um, what I, like I wanted to do commentary, but it I wanted to, figure out the angle in which I could do it. It was kind of uh it was kind of designed after um Idub's videos. It was after Look at Trish dude. Look at that man. Nothing here. <laughs> wow. wow. Oh my god. It was because he used to do a, a series called the Kickstarter crap. Yeah, we don't care, okay? Shut the fuck up. Influencers these days that are like becoming a thing at like 16 yeah. or, and shit, and they just never go to school. Wow. At the same time, though, it's like, I don't know, college kind of. Okay, does Oscar, do, do they do like a, a science experiment where they like, you know, spit water into each other's mouth at the end, like a couple birds? That's not good. That's how you get hemorrhoids. Really? Yep. Yeah. Shit, I need to stop doing that. <laughs> I was getting them so much, and I was like, you're on the, you're on the back it's, toilet. It's fun, though, to I be on just, the toilet. I just end up... Uh, Infected Mushroom says, we've been debating sis. He was a real-life high school music There, player. and it's like, I don't know. I, I should stop. You live alone, right? So you don't need to, like, hide in... Uh, Infected Mushroom says, but he thinks uh, corduroy and flannel is fashion. There anything? <laughs> like, I, you're right. I don't. <laughs> Sometimes I do. I just be it's very hipster. Like I don't even think you could. That's not even like Soho. Like I, this is. He's actually out of date. I think with this fashion. Like I'm in the bathroom. He's very. He's like Daniel Day Lewis fashion. I mean, I need to go on TikTok or something. But yeah, I think it's because I look. Like he has like a room in the fucking house. One of them like things you know below the window, a sitting spot. You know, I can't really think of what it's called. But, you know, he does have what we would call a nice bookshelf in his house. A couple. Very organized, meticulous. If you're crossing your fucking legs like this. Okay, if you're crossing your legs like this. You have a very clean house, I think. Loathe the pro. I, I know I need. You're not comfortable with like, you know, I be. When I sit down, like I said earlier in the show, when I was getting my hair cut, I had both my legs on my dude's shoulders. The shower, but I loathe the process of. And, but I, you know, I clean my house twice a week. Like, this is a this is a no. Like, if I came in with the smell of a cigarette, I'd have to go outside and shower before going in. Of getting out and having to get un like stop being wet. Yeah. And like the drying, <laughs> having to get un like stop being wet. Yeah. 
and like yeah being wet yeah and Oscar's fucking that's the scent. that's the word he's been waiting for the whole show and like the drawing and Trisha's disgusting she's over there thinking about the worst shit ever Moses knows a lot too we have, any, have we Moses probably never shows up get a like, robe I, feel, I don't know it, I wasn't even allowed I think there's like if, if I'm on the spectrum maybe it's like that category specifically maybe I think I fucked his hair up what the fuck this is uh, like Kingpin, uh, Bill Murray's hair. Yeah, maybe got like 1% of a cent. You look fucking stupid! Thing with with uh, just drying myself off with a towel, like it's just a pain in the ass. But if it's a sensory thing- It almost looks like it's like he glued part, like just a bunch of like brown cotton balls on his head for hair. It's falling out right now. The glue is coming undone. So now, for the rest of the show, Oscar, the this you know, this is uh, Ted and Vision, uh, Oscar's dream guy. Is having a malfunction with this fucking with, hair. With uh, just it's coming undone. Just drying myself off with a towel, like it's just a pain in the ass. But if it's a sensory thing, because he's a sensory thing, he puts like three towels on him because it's like get this water off me. You know what I mean? Oh. And, and I'm really hoping that they cut to him fixing it, or maybe Oscar. The rest of the show is really, really struggling with uh, how to approach saying, "Hey, your hair's fucked up." Especially if you have fix your hair. It's ruining my. You know, he's probably. Jacking off in his head. Any hair on your body, it's just like extra wet. I think wet. I just do it fast to try to get it over with. He does like three towels, like because he's like a sensory you, you person. You do? Three yeah. towels. <laughs> yeah, like as soon as possible, get it off. But wow. anyways, he's get a whole water off. spiritual get cleanser. It it's a whole other thing. Oh, like, as soon Moses? as possible, get it off. But sensory you, you person. Do? Three towels. <laughs> oh, there's no camera for o or Moses today. Yeah, like as soon as possible, get it off. But wow. anyways, he's a whole wow. water spiritual. <laughs> cleanser right. it's a whole other thing um but this is it's, it's, uh, we joked in three, we three hours for hot topics but i would never keep a guest here for this long oh he fixed his fucking hair real nice so long, in hell. all right i knew it was gonna fucking happen dude i knew this motherfucker probably saw it <laughs> Because well, I didn't know what you guys were going to do. Like, Can you pause the show? I don't know what's going on. You know, putting this shit. I asked me. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, I, really? like, I don't know. It's I a mean, key. It's always. Uh, infected Mushroom says she should lick her hand and fix it. Like my grandma used to do. It's fine. Yeah. We yeah. didn't know either. I, my grandma used to take sewing pins and stick them into my legs at night. So yesterday, I'm like, are we just going to key or are these, we going to... These have all been ballpark topics. I've been chilling this whole time. <laughs> it's like, has it been an hour? He's been holding this. He has to go piss. Well, you came up with a lot of topics. Like, all our topics, I was just like, well, you came up with so many. So you steered the conversation. <laughs> yeah, you're a great guest. You're I've... such an alpha. <laughs> Is that hey, right? I'm right? the alpha. I'm the... Ask, uh, look, you're not. Look at this guy. He's never been fucking approached with these type of words. Yeah, before. you're a great guest. You're I've... such an alpha. <laughs> Is that right? Hey, I'm right? the alpha. I'm the leader. I'm the leader. With the wolves. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't but know. What that's from called. the Disney movies, uh, zombies or whatever. With uh... oh, this is what you like. Look at this fucking face, bro. He'd be looking like everybody's favorite ghost, um, Matthew Perry. I don't know Milo, the names that of... Milo guy. Milo. Milo. His I don't know. Milo. I don't know him, but we know slot. Slot. The only reason why I know him is because I was at Saddle Ranch. At one oh my point. my God, you're such a Recently? vlogger. Influencer. Oh. 2021. Oh, okay. that, that makes was, more sense. But like, that's like... Dr. Mushroom says, Nate, you got the stamp. Like, when it, like, like, I actually do have that feeling that these fuckers have where I'm like, oh, I've only been here for 20. When it was, But when it was hip, and I was like, I gotta see what this fucking the Saddle Ranch thing is about. <laughs> and I was, um, I was, they do this thing where you get a dessert and it, but, but they let you make s'mores. And so yeah. I was doing that. And then some guy walks up next to me, and I and we're just chatting and stuff. Oh, please tell me he robs uh, you. And then later on, I see that he was this guy, this later. guy who acted in this Disney movie, which is the zombie Maybe. one, I think, where that song, the I'm the Alpha, I'm the Leader thing comes Maybe. from. But I just, like, ran into him, and I was like, oh, I, I was making s'mores with that guy. At, you uh, recognize him? Yeah. 
Wow. Uh, like, Trisha's hair is really dry tonight. And she's breaking out in what we call the hay syndrome. Oh, because I, I don't know. Barnyard hair. Oh, he was a nice guy. Yeah. Did you get a picture? I didn't know. Well, Long in here. I don't care. All right, that's enough. All right, they had their time. Should be He's basing like a-, a whole. <laughs> Quiet. All right. What's her? What's the t- uh, TikTok looking like? If anywhere, if anywhere, Trish is going to update us on the bait, the birth, it would be TikTok. I already have it pulled up. Why don't I just pull up another one? Okay. So we've already seen all the Ted and the Vision ones, so we won't be getting that kind of treat. Where did we leave off? Oh, we watched this. This is where we left off. She got this thing. Now she's moved on. 2.2 million views. Making sex content. Is it play? What's going on? What the hell's wrong with this page? Nothing's playing. She's stuck. (laughs) What the fuck? We gotta refresh. Never seen that happen before. So oh, okay. So she got two different colorways of this garbage designer plate. Uh, this being one of them, she got a pink one, or more looks like uh, band aids or some shit. It's not a good color. I, this type of color. One of the yikey. coolest things about being on TikTok yikey, besides yikey. everything. Is- Anywho, um, she's doing you know some br- brand placement right now. She probably got sent these. It's probably she probably said in the video before. Got sent these plates to show off. What a cool plate! This ain't a fucking it's plate. Right now. This is bullshit. This is like something you set one of your wide candles on. So she's got some Jello. She's making ASMR sounds for all her jacking off audience, which is most of them. Is this green gelatin? You're saying check her Poshmark. All right, we'll check it tonight. I'm going to go and ahead I love this because it up. is sugar-free and... Hold on, let me pause this. I do want to... That has been something I've neglected to do. Was look into Trisha's Poshmark. It is a playground for disgusting shit. Okay. Uh, what is it? Trish... Where is it at? Well, I know I, There it is. Trish P88. Trisha's Poshmark, her closet. So we'll look into that in a minute. Let's go back to this Jello video. And it shakes ah! and jiggles. I'm just really into. So this is nasty. She's doing sex shit right now. That's sex voice. She's doing uh, seductive jelly movement. You know whatever fetish this shit is. Green foods right now. And then. So she's going to load this thing as if it's somebody's small chode. I like to have a little bit of... With white cream. Whipped cream on it. And just... The combination of the cream... Oh my god, the combination. And the green just really hit. I mean, like we couldn't have a smaller fucking, you know, heroin spoon. Check the bottom for a burn. Late at night. Oh wow! There go. Sometimes I like to pretend that it's something that can help me become invisible. Wow. Okay. This is gross. I don't know what she's doing right now. If she's trying to do some type of bit sauce. Okay. It's. I'm not into it. I'm not buying it. It's fucking disgusting. Where are the? Where's that sound? She's, this is very, very odd, this this type of content she does, where she's just, like, talking to the audience as if, like, they're right in front of her. That can help me become... And, like, is just out of it. Like, this is uh, porno acting right I'm now. invisible. Mm. I feel like when I eat it, I can, like, start moving things around. Uh, and what the fuck? What does that even... What does that mean? Trisha does these TikToks sometimes that are like, I feel like I'm in some, some type of odd world where like, you know, I'm half a, awake, like a, like I'm in a fucking sleep paralysis moment. And everything's like moving jaggedy and reality is fucked up. Making them fly with my finger. Oh, man. Mm. Crunch. I particularly like eating green foods. Oh, God. And of course she doesn't, because she considers this a salad right now. 
That's a salad to her. Every doctor appointment. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. We're having a Taurus baby. Oh, we got 128 of this, folks. We're having a Taurus baby. We're so excited. <laughs> this baby is officially going to be... Uh, JT says she gets private requests. She's she always always has. She admitted it in the past. Be a Gemini now. You know, and Oscar's probably filming that shit. <laughs> or not? No. Well, he could be. Maybe, uh, Moses. I'm laughing because I'm a little scared. <laughs> but that's a very Gemini thing to do. To be like. She's trying to. She's got the Nicki Minaj hair on. Actually. Uh, Trisha could be a fucking involved with her getting it locked up. Trisha could have been the informant, the rat. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> We're waiting. Literally, my days are spent waiting for this baby. And this thing is huge, dude. I mean, when she started the video, that shit, I'm talking. Holy fuck. You know how a whale has that little spout? Of course, baby. We're so excited. Now, I know when you're pregnant, your stomach gets big. Okay? It's fucking how I was created. I was in a belly. Do the belly buttons always look like this? Like the inside of a, you know, you ever tied a balloon before? You look into the balloon knot? You like that? Is that a normal occurrence? Her stomach looks massive for one kid. Huge. <laughs> this baby is officially going to be a Gemini now. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm a little scared. Uh, JT says, no, don't start that rumor. Or maybe you should. Yeah. <laughs> But that's a very... Apparently, Trisha Paytas does something in the cosmos where prince, all the princes die. I don't know what that lore crap is. But Trisha might wear cosplay to cause certain effects. Kind of like black magic when you take your enemy's hair and put it into a cauldron or something and spin it around with frog's legs and, you know, warts and shit. Whatever you do with these spells, black magic is a area that you shouldn't touch even though it's bullshit i don't i don't believe in Very it but, Gemini, you know it's scary stuff trisha doesn't have the attention span to do it so somehow like some way i feel like trisha's involved with Nicki minaj's arrest Actually, i'm a gemini <laughs> we're waiting literally uh, above lava says if she had elvis it's very weird she hasn't posted anything yet she never takes a break for anything so yeah that's what i'm thinking i'm thinking uh something bad could yeah, i mean i'm not trying to put that out there i'm just saying i'm just saying she's been quiet and i don't really check today was like the first time i kind of like looked into some shit so i'm surprised if she did have the baby we haven't had like it came that's her that's her viral tweet would be he's here or she's here is it a girl or a boy i don't fucking know for this baby She's in there. She's comfy. She dropped. No longer on my ribs, which is good. We're actually kind of chilling at this point. A couple weeks there, I'm like, oh, I can't breathe. She's dropped low. I'm mm -hmm. breathing. I don't care, Trish. 